Hey everyone, James with TFB TV. We're over here at IWA in Germany. I'm at the Tamfolio booth and I'm with somebody who, I mean, I gotta say, it's not often that I get nervous when I'm doing an interview on TFB TV, but I'm here with Mr. Tamfolio himself, who's going to talk to us about the brand new Stock 3 Pro that you guys are introducing this year. Uh, first of all, I have to say it's an honor. Thank you for being on the program. Thank you to you. And I can't believe that I'm just going to hand this over to you and just ask you to, to tell us all about it. Okay, as you know, uh, we are uh, familiar with this kind of uh, pistol and uh, the product we are producing are mainly for the IPSC shooter or generally talking, the sport shooter. We arrived to a new uh, version of the Stock 2 that we call Stock 3 that is implementing all what we have received from the shooter around the world. And we have done in order to have the best possibility, to give to the shooter the best possibility to win and compete in the right way. So the pistol, aside the stock two and the stock three normal, has a bull barrel and it has made with new uh, trigger system. So it will be a good advantage for the shooter in order to, as I said before, to compete in a better way. Mm -hmm. And how much is something like this going to set me back? What do you mean for that? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm using a colloquialism. That's what you say when you say, how much is it going to set me back? That's uh, an Americanism for how much does this cost? The cost, sincerely, I don't know. Okay. But uh, generally talking, uh, we are going to $1,500 to $2,000 to retailer price. Why do I want something like this instead of like a 2011 or a 1911? Uh, we are talking about a total different world. When you are talking about 1911, you are talking about a pistol that was designed and produced from 1911 till today. What we have reached with our model, it's something that is based on the seventh, uh, CZ-75, but improve in a way that for the sport shooter. This is a, it's like when I'm telling about this type of gun, it's like producing a sport gun or a sport car or a normal car. We start from producing something that has to be used by the sportsman and not by use for the normal guy that used normally for self-defense or for going to the range just for getting, uh, getting happy. This is something that is good for competing. And that's the reason why we won more than 12 uh, world champions around uh, during the last 30 years. Now, I understand that there's a little bit of a bias, and this isn't a very professional question, but I feel like I have to ask, is the CZ or the CZ-75 better than the 1911? Uh, generally talking, yeah, two, two, completely two different guns, because if you tell me that the comparison should be between the Browning high power and the CZ, because 1911 is a single stack, is a single action, while we are talking about the FN that is completely different, that is. Sure, and that was, I was trying to give you an opportunity, but since I know that a lot of your designs are CZ-75 based to say, James, the 1911 completely sucks. It's, it's bad. The CZ-75, good. I cannot say that. I cannot say that. If, if you know the word of the, of the pistol, it's something that you cannot say, because 1911 is one step of a, a developed pistol in a way that at the present time. So it cannot be like the 1911, because it's a 1911 product. It has to be a product made in 2022. So. It's totally different. The two pistols are different, but at the same time are important for the history of the firearm. What a perfect professional answer that is. So it's an answer that has to come <laughs> with somebody that is working in this field. Sure. So I will say it for you as we sign off from IWA on TFB TV Showtime. My name is James Reeves. It was my pleasure, again, Mr. Tamfolio. It's my pleasure to be interviewed by you. And my personal opinion is that the 1911 sucks. Stay tuned for more coverage from IWA.